What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's Gourmet Kitchen. I'm Mike and today we're going to be preparing the simplest chicken recipe you've ever seen. If you are from South Africa, you obviously know the franchise Nando's. Today again, like our peri peri chicken livers, if you haven't checked it out, I'll drop the link below if you do love those, they are pretty amazing. We're going to be making the chicken. We're going to be doing it a little bit differently. We assume that normally with the speed that they prepare the chicken, we think that they probably boil the chicken beforehand and then put it on the grill, baste it up and take that route. So it's for a bit of ease of access and it's a lot quicker. Today we're going to do it a bit different. We're not going to boil the chicken before and if you want to, you could do that. We're going to prepare our marinade a little bit differently as well and just add the sauce to the mix and then use that to prepare the chicken on the grill outside. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember if you do enjoy the content, drop a like down below, comment and subscribe. And that's it. Let's get cooking. Okay, to start off, we've got our beautiful Mike's Gourmet Kitchen Butcher's Blocks made from Kyot wood. And we are also featuring the knife we made in a previous episode. Nice, let's get going. So, we'll start off by grabbing our free range chicken, get it down on the plate on the board. We'll split this in half now and then we'll start mixing up the marinade. I'm not going to talk through the rest of the video, I'm just going to put the names of the ingredients up on the screen as we continue along. Okay, there we go. Chicken's all basted up. We'll flip it back. So, you're probably wondering why we haven't put the marinade on yet. For anyone that uh, brys or grills flatties quite a bit, they know that if you put it on the grill, it tends to burn pretty easy. So we've marinated it now with some basic garlic, salt, pepper, olive oil. Put it on very low heat. We're gonna get some nice color to it, a lightish brown. Cook it about 60% and then we'll start applying our Nando's marinade. That way the chicken will absorb the juices nicely and it will not burn or leave those black scarring marks all over the meat of the scorchedness, scorchedness, of the scorch marks on the meat. So that should be it. Let's take it from here and throw it on the grill. Okay, we'll check back in about 20 minutes and then in the meanwhile, let's go prepare the marinade. And while the chicken's on the grill, grab a cold beer. Stand outside, relax and enjoy the view while we wait for the chicken. Oh, sorry. 
Tak mi tu boj. Okay, now what we're gonna do is on this side we'll start applying the basting. So the big mistake that we all make with the basting is we normally just add all the basting at once and like 80% of it just falls off into the grill and it gets burned away, creates a lot of smoke and stuff. It's not ideal. So we'll apply very small amounts gradually over a period of time and we'll flip it over because it makes the basting nice and sticky. So it sticks to the chicken and allows all that flavor to be inside the, the meat. So let's go ahead and start doing that. There you go, small amount of basting on the on the bottom side of the chicken. We'll leave it now for another 50 minutes, flip it over and then do the other side and then repeat the process until the chicken is cooked. And there we go, our chicken is all done. Oh jeez, let's give it a flip around. Look at that, my goodness. Absolutely beautiful, look at all the juice. Let's grab it from here onto our cutting block. Okay, so we're going to be serving this with some delicious homemade coleslaw. This is real basic, some chopped up carrots, coleslaw and um, added some sandwich cream instead of mayonnaise. Take away the acidity, nice creamy taste. And I'm also going to be adding fries to this. So let's go ahead and slice off a bite to eat. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Marinated all the way around. Juicy, comes off the bone like nobody's business. Right, let's go ahead, give it a bite. Oh, great. Let's grab a bite of this chicken. The bone just pulled out completely nice and soft. Now for the best part. I can't explain it. It even tastes better than the actual shop-bought chicken. It's soft, a nice hot sauce taste, garlic, black pepper, salt, wow, that is absolutely amazing. Oh. Well, with that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, please remember to drop a like down below, comment and subscribe, and follow us on YouTube and Instagram, stay updated with the latest content. Thank you guys so much for watching, see you on the next one, cheers.